Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. This is High West Whiskey Double Rye. Yeah, but not only that, look at the side. Limited release. It's got a it's got a coin. It's got Yeah, but look at what the rest of the limited release information. Limited barrel release. Barrel finish. Barrel cast strength society. Barrel type gin. They finished it for seven months in gin. Whoa. A gin barrel. Well, first you have to put like gin in a barrel. Yeah. Which doesn't really happen. Antique though. gin. No, it's it's pretty common. That's a thing. Yeah. Okay. A barrel aged gin all is right, a thing. All right. Look, what did they do to this bottle? This is. That, those are the hand. That's part of that handmade series that they. You, you, they you have. see, there's like I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up. There's like the a, sparkles. That's every high west bottle. No, no, no. There is, you know, the sh the oil sheen on top of water gets this rainbow effect. Look, it's got the same sheen. There's no rainbow effect, Daniel. Yeah, it's there. It's there's, just not as dramatic as this one. You, there's a rainbow right here on my he, side. Oh, he's so wrong. He knows he's wrong, no, and I, he knows the camera can't see it. So he's gonna pretend like just it's it's, it's non existent. Not here. as dramatic. It's it's not here. I'm saying this has waviness. This has little embedded sparkly bits. Look at right here, right here. Look the look. metallic. Uh, look right here, right, right here. Come. Oh, I couldn't see that from my side. Right, look right here. You see this? Yes, he's right. This one has a rainbow. I, I couldn't see that from the angle I was at. It looks the exactly like the rainbow effect that oil has when yeah, it's sitting on top. Yeah, if you stand over here, you can't see that. Right, right. So, okay. no, wrong one. Okay, now we can talk about yeah. the whiskey. That's cool. Anyway, uh, that's called the Rubicon effect. The Rubicon effect. Must. <laughs> 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 we need to we need to name the little river over there by Tuscan the Rubicon. The Rubicon. So that when people walk across it. Right. I like the little coin they have on there. That's Me cool. Me too. Okay. Oh, okay. Barrel select. I like this. Beautiful rye. It's like a little bracelet. Man, I'm gonna wear it as a bracelet. The floral herbal rye. Yeah. Floral herbal rye. Spice, it's just now this is a mix of two gins, just like the Rendezvous <gasps> Classic. Oh, and that's what it's reminding me of. MGP mixed with a rye they make in a pot still. It's the herbal quality from gin with yeah. the herbal quality from rye yeah. that are beautifully playing with each other. Now, they said their goal is to make the most rye tasting rye, spiciest rye on the planet. They are fiddling each other's bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so I think, man. I tell you what, the people who blend things at High West are damn geniuses. Well, I, the thing that the thing that was exceptionally well thought out, from my perspective, having been aware of this bottle existing for the last two minutes, mm -hmm. is they did a rye with a gin barrel. Right. So you get all the botanicals yes. added to an already botanical rye. Yes, and you just fully, fully uh, fleshes out that whole now. By the way, direction this is of flavor. Justin Jesser. Justin Jesser, you make it. Bastard. Now, Justin has also stepped up and was started to inventory the vault. It's almost finished, Justin, right. because uh, Zach and Leanne took over. Right on. The, uh, the, the herbal, I'm trying to... The, there are so many botanicals in the nose, it's are, hard to pick something. Well, I'm trying to pick the gin called the Botanist. Yeah. It's the Isla gin. Yeah, yeah, which is made by Burglotti. And the herbal notes you get out of the Botanist gin mm -hmm. show up here along with some really nice rye spice herbal notes. Beautiful nose on this. Very unique, but not, you know, foreign to the world of whiskey completely. Oh, whoa. Oh. I'm not sure I could drink that on a regular basis. That needs to go into a cocktail. Wow. That is... That needs to be in a martini or something. That is oily. It is so oily, and it is so dramatic. Do you think that's why they made the bottle, like, oil rainbow sheen? Maybe that's just the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> the whiskey is so oily, it's leaking through the glass and yeah. giving it a sheen on the outside. That's funny. All right. Golly. Like, ah. Uh, man, all of the... Like, have you ever had... There's a gin called Citadel that has 14 botanicals. Yeah. And when you sip it neat, it's just this really kind of j journey. Sure. That's what I feel like I'm tasting here. I feel like I'm tasting, like, this... Just can't settle on a botanical rolling rapid boil of botanicals. All right, I took a picture of the rainbow. Did you get it? Well, yeah. From that position, if people can't. Oh wow, you really got it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll send that to Chad. Okay. Um, I oh so man. Okay, I'm so looking forward to the next evolution of the Vault Channel and the things we're going to be doing mm -hmm. because this begs for an ice cube or two. Oh, it will. It's some, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. There's going to be an interesting future to the Whiskey Vault. Yeah. I'm, uh, and on those days, we'll have an ice maker when I finally get in to, the room. I finally get to implement some of the uh, the the incremental little different things. That's true. All right. So, 
Uh, let's compare this to something. Okay, so here's well, the, look, look. Let's call it. Let's call it because whenever we're getting, we're starting to get really often um, whiskeys that are very hard to get. They're very limited releases, rare. Don't get a lot of distribution. And so, for you to at least be able to compare this to something you can get your hands on, I think we should call the more accessible comparison that we're going to be doing with yeah. the more obscure bottlings. So we'll, call it, we'll call it. The people's comparison. The people's comparison. Right. Okay, so I, I picked Sagamore For because you can get comparison. Sagamore right. most places. Right. It is, and it's sourced MGP rye, and part of what's in this bottle is MGP rye. Okay. Now that's the only reason I picked it, not because I thought it tasted the same, but because they both started. They both use MGP rye to right. some percentage. Okay. Okay. So people's comparison, Sagamore spirit, and there's still eucalyptus in this one. There is, and there's still. Classic right so herbal what's added? notes. Classic right herbal notes. There's way more Rice vanilla spices. and barrel rich dark notes in the High West than there is in the Sagamore. You're getting more it's like a, a lot more vanillins. You're getting vanillins? Yeah. Vanillins? Yeah, it's this like candied version. Super candied. Slightly, though, yeah. Like very sugared, sugared mm -hmm. vanilla. Sugar yeah, not natural. No, no, vanilla. I'm thinking I'm thinking vanilla extract. Okay. Alright, with the, the yeah. sugary sweetness. Yeah. yeah. On the nose. And then that Sagamore Spirit. I think I remember really liking that rye. It's just a really mild, approachable. Well, compared to 41.5%. This, 41 .5%. this uh, double rye was probably one of the oiliest, densest, most, so the most flavors, herbaceous. <laughs> while you were looking up, stuff, I said the flavors going on in this High West remind me of a boiling pot. Yeah. Right? Where it's just the top of it is this disturbed. So every sip yeah. of that High West. The flavors are just all constantly shifting and collapsing against each other. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard to narrow down a thing that's mm. happening in that high west. This is a lot more just easy. And settled. Tame. I get the um settle down a little. A little bit of the green tea. I gotta tell you, I'm not getting black licorice. So I think much. I'm actually liking the Sagamore better as just a drinking whiskey. Well, for sitting back and relaxing, yes. and getting your sip on. This High West, this is, is funky adventure. It's a, it's a bull ride. Funky, and I think it's definitely worth if you can get your hands on it. It's worth experiencing. It's mm -hmm. fun. It's cool. It's weird. I would love to see that in a cocktail. I bet it would make an astounding cocktail. I agree. I agree. We have the DJ One One. Mm. Hey all you beautiful, magnificent bastards, I was wondering if you walked into a liquor store with a friend and they said, pick out any bottle you want up to $100, would you A, pick a bottle you've always wanted to try but didn't want to pay for, or B, pick a favorite that you are low or out of asking for a friend? I would pick a unique bottle. Yeah, absolutely. I would not restock. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Is that is it that obvious? Well, there's something about, you know, you get like a gift card. If I ever can keep, yeah, I always. You don't do. want to use it to just shop for groceries. I know. You gotta. You, you feel like it's a waste for that. I've well, had even a, though intellectually, you know, well, if it's the same I'm amount of money, be, it's, it's, it's the money's coming from the same yeah. place. I'm gonna spend my money on the doesn't stuff. Matter, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. See, I have an Alamo gift card. Yeah. As two years old. So Alamo Draft House is a movie theater. Yeah. 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 Where do they feed? You can actually. It's a full menu, and you can eat dinner. You give it to me. Uh, I haven't used it because I'm always thinking, oh, I'll use it the next thing, and the next thing's with Halle or it's with somebody, and I'm like, well, I don't want to use my Alamo gift card on like a group on your ticket. Wife, on your no, I want to do it on like. I want to use it on my. Wife. No, I want to do it on the night when it's just me going to the movies by myself, but I never do that, and right. so now I've had it for two years. <laughs> Malt Philistine summer whiskey cocktail, iced Irish oh, coffee. Yes. You're welcome. Right. Can't wait to meet you guys in a couple Dude, weeks. How did I not think of this? Ice Iced Irish, Irish coffee. coffee. Such a good idea. A little cream, a little sugar. Right. Right? Yeah. A little Irish whiskey. Right. And some coffee. Right. So on the rocks. I'm saying this right now. That's so good. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? So the Baileys doesn't get a lot of love here. It doesn't, but I love it on the rocks. So just straight on the rocks. I'm getting on the plane. Oh yeah, and hell going, yeah. And we're we're getting ready to fly to the Dublin's. Bailey's on the rocks all day. No, I didn't do the Bailey's on the rocks. What'd you do? Because the woman next to me, she the plane hadn't even taken off. She oh. sat down. She immediately said, "Can I get a Bailey's and coffee?" Oh, oh, good call. Yeah, Bailey's and coffee. No, I used to do that all the time. I, I've never done them. Yeah, give me one too. Give me. It was like really nice. Oh yeah, it's great. Early in the morning. You Irish up the coffee? Yeah. Okay. Now that's not a true Irish coffee. I, I think know, his is I a little more classic. I know. But I love Bailey's on. So you know what? If we could if we could source instead of like coffee cream, just 
Bailey's Irish cream. You know what we should do yeah. at the tasting room? What? We should use our uh, used oak Eleanor, which is closer to an Irish flavor, to make iced Ir Irish whiskey coffee. It is hot. It is. Okay. Right? All right. Here we're you gonna go. do that. That's the thing that we're, we're gonna use a lot more ice. Do. Evidently, these are both really nice. You know what? I in the early days of my whiskiness. All right. I uh, had a little chip on the chip on my shoulder with the rye because they keep coming at me with like the black licorice. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing with the black? I licorice? I don't like the black licorice. But I've explored enough rye. It's like yeah, you're in. There's some there's some really nice, special, amazing, exciting rye stuff happening. And this is just like an easy sipper. This is a funky adventure. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend? If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.